So today we're going to be finishing up some unfinished business in the bathroom on the upper parts of these walls. And I think over here too, you'll see, you'll see what we do. I think I should do this one first. Seems to be the easiest one. So, 19 and a quarter by three quarters. So that's going to be at two. And 11 sixteenths. This kind of woodwork sucks because it's fudging everything. I love four snuggets. They oh, just make the nice prettiest holes. Right? Okay. I'm going to be really impressed if this actually works. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> just seems like it's going to be awkward threading a piece of wood over a pipe. Oh, you're taking the pipe off? No, just oh. a little cap here. Hmm. Oh, I just can't get it. On that. I guess I just oh, try it like that. Turn with it by angle. hand. Oh. There. God, that is perfect. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, and so on. Oh, no, I'm sorry. One and a half, three and a half, five and a half. Okay, ready? Uh huh. First one's one and a half. Okay. And it is one and a half. Second one is three and a half. Three and three sixteenths. Okay. Six and fifteen sixteenths. Thirteen and a half. Every two inches we're writing down the measurement to the top. Seven and three eighths. Seven and three eighths. Nine and five eighths. Okay. Our biggest measurement is nine and five eighths. Okay, let's go. So one and a half, three and a half, right? Yep. Five and a half, seven and a half. Okay, now first mark is at one and a half. Five and a half. And okay, so now we have all of the measurements for every two inches transferred on to the piece of wood. Right, so that thing's right at the corner. And I'm, I'm going to flex it from there, so you just stay still. Okay, oh, this is going to be a good one. Okay, Go. that was perfectly just bendy enough to make the yeah. curve. Yeah, so that made that pretty easy to do. That. There we go. That's good, yeah. Nice. So that's not too bad. Like a glove. Yeah. That's very nice. It's gonna be. It's gonna look really good when we get it painted. Yeah. What next? This is ten and three quarters. Ten and three quarters. Okay. Twenty-five and three sixteen. Oh, 
That looks so nice having it finished. Yeah. Same procedure again. Yeah. Mark the other two inches. Marking every two inches again. Don't worry, this gets painted. Doesn't matter. Five and five sixteenths. Okay. Six and three sixteenths. Alright. Let's see how we did. Okay. Oh deal. That looks good. Oh my gosh, perfect. There it is. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, I think this is the point where I... 12 volt, 12 volt, no box. No box, box pleases. Oh. Cop, <laughs> box 5.0. Box cops. Electrical box popos. I think um, here is where I should probably explain why we're only putting the nice piece of wood all the way up at the top and the rest of it is this scrabbly old plywood it's because in the very beginning and we when we thought this was going to be an all-in-one shower and toilet space i planned my mosaic to wrap around the whole entire space all the way over to here and now i'm unwilling to let this part of the mosaic go <laughs> and you'll see why when the whole thing is completely finished i think it will make sense because it's too hard to explain now. I think when the whole thing is done, I think it will make sense. That'd and you'll see cool. why I stayed with my idea of continuing the mosaic all the way around. What? It fell in? Uh-huh. I think it fell all the way to here, too. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, we just lost the electric. The switch completely fell in. Oh my gosh. You know where those little driver things are? Yeah, it's right here on the window. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, that's handy. The tool we need is right there. Maybe. This is I the think grabber. it fell all the way to this, here. This is the grabber, but we can grab the wire. This is the grabber we used to get the tile out of the drain when I dropped one of my mosaic pieces down the drain. I will be lucky if we get this. Like, I can't even... It's probably right here. On the top edge of, of this. Of this, room. yeah. So it could, it's probably right here. But... So, here we are. Taking the wall off. Let's see if you can bend it out enough. I'll see if I can see it in there. Can you see it? Yeah, got it. Got it? Yeah. Good job. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty funny. The look on your face was priceless. I was <laughs> just like, how far did that fall? Did you find a good spot for looking out the window? Yeah, it makes you happy. Aww. Man. We didn't have any, um... Push down it. Sure. We didn't have any half-inch plywood, so we're using rock board for the, what is it? Hardy backer. Hardy backer. For the last piece. No, I just tried to bend my finger. Wow. There we go. That's a snug fit. It is. Let's 
so cool how that worked. Those two went into the two by four behind it. Yeah, and it just pinches this and it's that's the end. It stays forever. Yeah. So this will keep it from sliding down. And that keeps it from pulling back. So that's it, man. I like that little system we have with those. We've used that all over the bus. Yeah. To hold stuff in. It's groovy. It is. You have to paint your little pieces. Yep. I'm back in the painting clothes again, which mostly just feels like being in timeout. It's definitely easier to get coverage with that roller, huh? Oh, it's just faster and easier, yeah. You know, I should have picked it up and done all the edges first. This one's not going to matter as much, though, as far as being waterproof, because it's far away from the shower. Mm -hmm. These ones I want to be really sealed and waterproof, though, by the time we paint them. I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bailout on my own, all alone, left to bleed. But I rose up from the ground Just like I was real bound All the odds were against me So I picked up the page And now I'm in the rage Give me some space I'm a movement and I am losing Gonna go, 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 go Like a bird Extravaganza going. Rolling right along. Rolling right along. Do do and so do the good <laughs> stuff instead of the bad stuff. He's making up his own words. Moving right along. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Moving right along in search of good times and good news with good friends you can't lose. This could become a habit. Hair color is so pretty. It's shocking. You missed the other edge over here. Yeah, I missed this one. And the inside edges. You're messing up. Not yourself. done yet. We have to start over the whole bus. Here we go again. Haven't I heard this all before? Throwing it in the trash. <laughs> Call the wrecker. It's going to the junk because of this dang drawer face from hell. Because Carrie can't paint. I paint like a child. That would be my Indian name. Paints like a child. That's why I have to wear painting clothes every time. I don't know why you're using it. You should be using your fingers. Might as well. Poor mom, I can't, you can't believe it. Making it extra waterproof. It's gonna look good. Yeah. This is the back of this one again, too, it is. isn't it? Okay. Now, 
and go back to the beginning. Paints like a child. Try not to drop that in there again. Cool. Now you can see our other blue upper wall. When I finally continue the mosaic all the way around to here, my pieces will match up to the thickness of this wall when I'm doing the mosaic and the grout. So that's the plan. Get me uh, the shower piece, our shower head piece. to do the end piece we couldn't we didn't have the wood for it we do now do, uh, maybe because I just cut that entire piece in half oh. there we go same thing obviously the mosaic will come right up to this edge and butt up against it where it overhangs just a little bit super cool upper walls are done that's awesome hey that's a check mark off the list that is a check <laughs> cha-ching oh, social distancing hey Dang, don't touch easy me. there you're gonna give me the covid <laughs> i'll give you more than that <laughs> In the pants. Yep, that's exactly what I had in mind. Okay. This is more or less how this is going to look, except obviously there's something missing. There's going to be some decorative metal screen on the inside of this, but we can't get it right now because Hobby Lobby is closed. There's going to be long lists of things waiting to be done by the time all the stores finally open up again. We're going to have so many things to finish up. But look at this. Turn on the light. Ah. I didn't push it through. You're all ah! <laughs> it looks so good. I can't wait to get the sun and sky in place now. I'm crossing my fingers, I can come up with enough plates to get the... Uh, sun and sky over here and keep going on the mosaic despite the close down of America. Okay, well, that's our little blue bathroom. Blue laundry drawer, blue over there, blue over there. I feel like I can see our bathroom coming into focus. It's getting really close, really, really close. Yeah. It's going to be really nice. There it is. I can't wait until we have everything we need to get that laundry drawer complete, completed. It's so bright out here, I can't even open my eyes. It's a new day and a new project. We're working on the bathroom. Laundry drawer. We're working on the laundry drawer for the bathroom today. This is the decorative metal screen I was looking for. But Hobby Lobby was closed, so we found this at Home Depot. Yeah, we just had to trim it a little bit to fit the drawer face. Where did you trim it? Right there. Oh, just barely? I don't take off about that much. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it still has straight lines in it. That yeah, threw me off. That made it a lot easier. Line. So I lined up the straight lines so we could get a good a uh, good thing, but cool. now we're just going to put our, some color on it here. Since all our drawer handles are black, we're just painting this black too. You're getting it from every angle so it gets yeah, all the sides. Yeah, because I also have little gray things you'll notice. Yep, then. totally. That's what I was thinking too. Here we go. So then we'll just take this once it dries in like seven minutes. And, right. Uh, <laughs> and we will uh, mount that into the frame somehow. I'm going to have to cut little strips of wood that will put in around the edges of this to hold it in place. 
So what do we have for trim? How do I cut that? Let's cut see. some little strips of wood. It's about cutting it safely. What about using scraps like this? Yeah, that's what we need to use. That might be how much minutes do we have? Now we need to cut this really carefully. Even skinnier than that? Yeah. Wow. The depth right here, we want something about that thick. And then we'll shoot that way to gotcha. hold that stuff in place. Dun. Exactly what we needed. Good. So now we just cut these down into little pieces. And cha cha cha. Uno. That's right. Dos. And then we in here. Chase cuatro. And we need our little nail gun. Found it. So, we went black out. So, the idea here is to push down really hard and then shoot these into here like that. Okay. I'm so excited about this. I'm like giddy on the inside right now. <laughs> this is just going perfect. Everything about how you built this Shh, door is just... Don't say that. Knock on wood. <laughs> awesome. Pull it up for me. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's go put it on and put the handle on it. All right. It did turn out pretty nice, huh? Yes. Exactly what I had in mind. Exactly, exactly what I was envisioning. <laughs> the shade of blue isn't what I was envisioning, <laughs> but the rest of it is perfect. So that's what it's going to look like. And I'm getting used to the blue. It's growing on me. Because I think it's going to be perfect. I'll tell you why I think it's going to be perfect. Because, wait, turn on the light because right here where I'm building the sky, the plates I have to go up here, the highest part of the sky, are like the same color of blue. And it was not even planned. I had already bought the paint before I realized it. How crazy is that? Cool though, huh? Oh my word, it looks so good. Will you get me, I need a piece of flooring. Got it. Super finder. To the rescue! Like that. Okay. Hmm. Mike got a new tool set the other day because that's what he needed is more tools. But he had to do it. He explained to me that he had to do it because by buying this drill, he got a saw at, at what, a really good price? Free. Free. So he had to. Obviously. Here, will you put your foot right here? Sure. Okay. Let's see how we did. Perfect. Get back there so I can get it all on the camera better. There, from inside the shower. Oh, look, you can see how it looks to be inside the shower. <laughs> and there's our little laundry drawer where you just kicked off your dirty laundry and put it right in its place right. instead of on the floor. It is in her. 
Never on the floor, always in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> That's another check mark. Yeah, that is a check mark. Wait, the handle. Can we do the handle oh, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we have one? Uh, let's see. Yep, right here. So we're putting it just center right here? Yeah. All right. Ooh, this drill, I'm gonna give this better marks than the boss stitch. I've never used a DeWalt one before, but the amount of uh, control I have over the uh, uh, the power that's given to it is night and day compared to the boss stitch one. Like, this is better. Like, I just didn't have that on the boss stitch. There you go. Super cool. That's pretty neat, huh? I love our laundry drawer. A good this one. was the greatest idea. Man, I'm super, super pleased with this. This is just exactly what I envisioned in my mind. It is exactly what I wanted. Yep, the laundry can breathe now. Thanks, my honey. You're welcome. Thanks for the laundry drawer. Well, my whole laundry setup. I don't have to go very far from the hamper to the washer. I know. That's, that's <laughs> a, that was a, this was her idea. This was all Carrie because she did... Uh, she wanted something like this and she wanted to be able to just have a place so I never throw anything on the floor. It just goes in the laundry, open it up, open this up, and like... It's true. It's like, true. It was my idea. Done. But yeah, right from there to there. Super and nice. And think about it. The two places in the house that you would be taking off your dirty clothes, you're either going to be standing right here by the shower so it can go right in the drawer, not on the floor, or in here in the bedroom area, whether it's going to bed at night or just changing your clothes for whatever reason, you're right here next to the drawer. You can probably reach out and open it with your toe. Totally! <laughs> <laughs> that was really bad. Really, really bad. bad.